our project was conducted at Good Samaritan Home in Klang, which happens to be a proactive and people-centered organization focused on caring for underprivileged and orphaned children. Being a home to 28 children with ages ranging from 5 to 16, this care center houses some amazing talents and the children that are being taken care of possesses great character, personality and they are filled with great potential. In groups of 10 and collaborating with another group, we have proposed ideas and games that aim to invoke a sense of curiosity and wonder to the children as they explore and learn about other cultures of the world. The preparation for the event was done as a large group of 20 people which included props design, brainstorming and dance rehearsals. Together, we set out to achieve our goal of making enjoyable and educational game scenes for the children on the 18th of May. The first event we had in store for the children was to experience a Korean traditional game called Takji, while also learning some phrases in the Korean language along the way. This was achieved using folded color paper and also allowing the children to personalize their own takji with stickers. From this activity, they learned how to be fair competitors with good sportsmanship and also basic origami skills. In the second half of the event, we took the children to experience the cultures of China in the form of traditional performances. The activity required them to color and draw their own personalized performance masks which they will later keep as a souvenir. This activity paired with the basic learning of Chinese phrases also allows it to be very educational for the children. It will boost their creativity skills while allowing them to express themselves during their performances. This activity also introduced them to the Chinese performance art, which they were very interested in. Our activities were also done in conjunction with two more activities from the other group we've collaborated with, whereby they introduced the cultures and games from Japan and Mexico. After the completion of each activity, they were rewarded with stickers that they would place into their own passport, which we've already given them at the beginning of the day. He also mentioned how it was the first time for them in many charity initiatives that they've had an exciting and educational activity like ours. He believes that through our activity, the children were able to experience or at least have some more understanding on countries and their traditional games. It was refreshing to see something new as usually he mentioned that other people came to volunteer to clean or build some kind of furniture for them. He was also quite relieved to see how happy and comfortable the children were while playing our activities as the children could be quite timid, but our patience and persistence really brought out the joy to the children. 
He also mentions how the password name tags and badges that we've designed can really bring a sentimental memory for the children. Since it was cute and eye-catching, he believed they would surely take care of it.